Hey guys, Triangle Potato here, and welcome back to another Redstone video. Now today I've got something really cool for you, and yes, it is very ugly because of my gold blocks, but I like gold blocks, so we're just going to deal with it. Anyways, now if I just turned around right over here, I can show you exactly what we got going on right here. I'll click this button, and we'll wait. Oh, hey, look at this. Cool. We'll get right in here, click this button, and away we go flying up into our next floor and you can fly as high as you want in this elevator. Idea. Alright guys, time for the tutorial. Now all you'll really need is a dispenser, maybe around three or four redstone dust. The, du the dust is different depending on where you want your buttons, an immovable block, and again you don't really need slime blocks, I just use them to make it more compact. So I I'll show you exactly how to build this, just one second, we'll, I'll I'll we'll just test it out quickly. You click the button down here, and it comes all the way down. You click it again, and it goes up. It's as simple as that. And once you're up here, all you do is you hop out like this, and then you can click the button and send it down on its own, or you can click it and bring it right to you. So really, this, this elevator can go between any amount of floors that you want, Maybe, maybe there might be some rendering issues if this is probably a couple hundred blocks down and the boat won't render in, and you might deal with some problems there. But anyways, let's get on to building it. Now, as I'm starting to say this, um, before you commit to where you're going to build it, you're going to want to know that you have to be facing southeast for this to work. That is because the way the boat is rendered into this block right here, as you can see this little water coming out of this corner right here, it, the, the water is connected to where this boat is in the corner. So make sure you're facing southeast when you build this. And I will fix that right now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find where your bottom part of your elevator is going to be. And you're just going to want to dig out and make a water source block right here. And then you're going to want to build a corner right here at the southeast corner of that water source block. At that point, you're going to want to build up like this as high as you want it. I'll, I'll show you. We can go all the way up here. But the issue with that is it will be delayed with the boat rising because the water has to travel from all the way up here all the way down. So we're going to we're gonna just do it right to where we did before, somewhere around here, and it won't be that much of a delay. It'll go up, it'll go down instantly, that is for sure, but it will not go up instantly, because the water, like I said, will have to travel all the way down here, and then it'll start to float up. So once you get to this point, you're going to want to knock out this back block right here, place your dispenser, and then a water bucket inside. Once you've finally placed your dispenser and your water bucket inside them, you're going to want to build your wall. So you're going to just come right here on these blocks here and build all the way along where your wall is going to be for the top floor. So I'm just going to build for demonstration purposes right here. And that will be my wall. Now I'm going to want to build my floor and I will need a 2x2 two two area open up for the boat itself so it doesn't get stuck or break. And then to build the wall downwards, just simple building down like this. And back up like this, super simple. Alright, next step is to connect a button onto your redstone dispenser. So I'm going to put my button right about here. Once you find out where you want your button at, you're going to want to connect it to your dispenser. So, you're going to come right behind the button, place a couple blocks like this, and then put redstone going straight into the dispenser. 
Now, as you can see, if we activate this, we're going to get water coming out of our dispenser and taken again. So now we just come down to the bottom down here and we want to find a button spot for down here to activate it. So I'm going to place mine right here. When you find out where you want your button for the bottom part of the elevator to bring you back up or bring it back down, you're just going to want to come behind that button and connect it to that dispenser. The way I'm going to do it, instead of just building a tower of uh, redstone going up, I'm going to just place this block here, the redstone dust there, and put a sticky piston right here and stack up with slime blocks going all the way up until right here I'm going to place a redstone block and because this slime block here will stick to this I'm going to change this with an immovable block and I'm going to put redstone dust back on top of it alright now all that's left to do for this elevator is to put the boat there now the boat might be a little hard to get there at first but once you finally get it there It'll it'll stay unless you kick it out of the way, but you'll you'll get it right in this corner here. You'll click the button, the water will slowly come down, and you'll rise up like this, and then you'll just dismount like that, and you'll be on the floor. It's simple as that, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today with my redstone tutorial, guys. It was a lot of fun making, and it it really doesn't require that much redstone at all. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a lot of cool redstone ideas coming up. Like this video if you found it useful or just really like the concept or ideas. It's really simple to make and I'm glad you guys were here to watch it. Join me next time in my next video. Bye guys. I'm out.